Hello everybody and welcome to 2022 with Amflu Reviews. Happy to be here guys, a whole brand new year. It is January 2022 also. So for a bit of absence recently, of course, Christmas, New Year's, work schedule, demanding kind of life in the sense, you know, time gets sucked away from you and it's hard to find that kind of downtime. I think everyone can relate to after being, you know, very heavily socializing uh, during the kind of busy holiday periods kind of thing. It's nice to kind of get back to basics. Uh, it's difficult to try and balance, you know, work life and try and find time for videos at the same time. So I'm gonna do my absolute best to kind of put as much effort per week into making some content for you guys. So this basically is a bit of a channel update and kind of let you guys know what's happening with me, what's with the channel, what kind of content you're expecting in the next couple of weeks. And also to kind of give you guys a bit of a collection update, what things I've got during Christmas and New Year's. So business as usual, lots of Hong Kong content. I'll be doing a lot more foreign cinema also in terms of Korean cinema, Japanese cinema. I've got a lot of ideas, a lot of kind of other kind of foreign movies I really want to talk about, really want to explore in terms of the fantastic Blu-ray releases and also the films themselves. I've been really diving myself into a lot of Korean and Japanese cinema recently on top of Hong Kong cinema. There is so much content, it's crazy to keep up. And the amount of kind of 88 films on Eureka and you know, even Criterion coming out with some of these fantastic releases recently. In terms of some of the content I've got uh, upcoming, I've got an editorial piece I've been working very hard on since New Year's. It's called the Matrix Franchise Editorial, which basically we're talking about all four Matrix films in a bit of like an editorial kind of fashion piece. I've been working really hard on that and to kind of give you guys a bit more of a perspective on my personal opinion and what those films mean to me and why I like them and deep dive into a little bit of the story and to kind of build up to the Matrix Resurrections, which I want to heavily defend and kind of re-dive in and talk about and kind of create a discussion with you guys about why I like those movies. And I think that's going to be a quite interesting piece. It's taking me a long time to kind of get it right and to, to really kind of home in on and what I want to try and say and get the right kind of footage and all that kind of stuff, you know, it just takes a lot of time. I've been given a microphone for my, you know, Christmas, which I'm currently using right now. So hopefully the audio you're hearing is from the microphone itself and not my actual uh, phone, which I usually do more of my recordings from. So I'm testing out a few different things in terms of the microphone, in terms of editorial pieces, a lot of experimental ideas coming up in terms of that. I'm also working on a brand new collaboration video with the Asian Circle Group, which is fantastic. It's called the Top 5, I think, Hong Kong Fight Sequences best ones in my personal opinions. Very difficult, I uh, hate this kind of challenge question. Um, it's a lot to go through. I've been back and forth on top of the top five, which ones I like, which ones I don't like, and it's proving a lot more of a challenge than I thought, but that'll be a video I expect in the next couple of weeks. I'm working hard on doing that as well. Also, I'm working on a big video for the Shaw Brothers collection. I've got that during Christmas time, and I've been really focusing on an idea and how to kind of get all the reviews out there I want to try and do, to do it in a kind of timely fashion and to kind of do a bit of fun with it as well. I've got a really cool idea how I want to go about that in terms of those 12 movies. So hopefully it all works out nicely in terms of the edit, in terms of how I put the videos together. So keep an eye out for that. I've got a really specific idea. So please stay tuned for that. I've got a new section on the channel which I'm going to be talking about and really kind of diving into soon. I'm really passionate about it and really excited for it. It's called Exploring DC Comics. Uh, basically, I'm going to be deep diving into the movies, deep diving into the animation series, the animation movies, the video games, the comics, just anything kind of DC related. I'm going to be really deep diving into those kind of material because I'm a really I'm a big fan of the DC comic universe and that kind of and that kind of exploring those kind of characters, Superman, Batman, all that great stuff. And I think there's so much there in terms of I defend and talk about all the time naturally to kind of friends and family. Then why not do it in terms of videos and I can do kind of specific kind of like who's the best Batman, that kind of stuff. Will from Hong Kong Cinema has inspired me to do the top five Hong Kong, you know, movies of last year, which is very interesting. I'm going to be taking that idea and I'm going to do my own one and do my top five personal favorite Hong Kong movies that I found during kind of picking these films up and just kind of seeing why I like them and why I think they're fantastic and what made them work for me personally. So I'm going to be doing that video as well. So yeah, lots of great content coming up, guys. I've got a lot of great work in the works, literally. I'm going to work on a brand new intro also at the same time. So uh, bear with me. So thank you for sticking with the channel, sticking with me. You know, these videos do take a long time for me to kind of get right. So I really do appreciate your support and commenting and kind of engaging with the channel, engaging with the videos. They do really mean a lot to me for sure. And as mentioned, a few things I've picked up during Christmas, New Year's, anniversary gifts, things I've got in between, that kind of thing. There's a couple of listings right here, guys. Uh, just a very quick kind of like show you guys what I've got, what things we're picking up. And uh, if I remember what the others are, I'll show them in a little kind of later down the line kind of videos. Let's have a quick look what I got, guys, for Christmas and uh, beyond that kind of thing. So we have is the escape room movies one and two 
really surprising films. When I first watched the first Escape from Movie movie, didn't like it. When I watched it again, I kind of got it. It kind of clicked a little bit more. And the second one is a lot of fun. It's a, it's a, it, it, these are really fun movies. These are Sony movies. Sony's version of Saw, uh, kind of jigsaw kind of thing. And they're really good. They actually really are entertaining. They're actually quite smart. They've got some cool traps. They've got some cool, great characters. I like where they go. And the second one has some good surprises. It, has, it actually has a, a genuine, real surprise ending I didn't see coming. So I'm quite happy with those films. I recommend these guys. Check them out. I might do a video on those at some point to kind of go into why I like them a little bit. We have Suicide Squad Steelbook, the 4K. Of course, great film in the cinemas. We enjoy this on IMAX. Love Suicide Squad. If you're watching Peacemaker in HBO in the US, go check that out, guys. There's a fantastic, hilarious opening section kind of piece, which is brilliant, so really, really funny. Go and check out Peacemaker. Go and check out Suicide Squad. I'll be doing maybe a video on them at some point with the DC kind of exploring DC films I'm doing. We have No Time to Die, which is the 4K steelbook. Uh, great conclusion, great finale to James Bond, uh, Daniel Craig's James Bond era of you know his time. Love this in cinemas. Love this on 4K. If you haven't seen No Time to Die, please go and check it out, but make sure you watch the Dan Craig films first, because this is a conclusion, it is a wrap-up and finish of his legacy, of his time as Bond. Crazy to think how long it's been since the first Bond came out, Casino Royale. We have Story of Ricky on the Chorus 88 editions. Yes, I know what you're going to say. Yes, I know you're going to think. Andrew, you said you were going to buy this. This is £10. So, yeah, suck it. <laughs> Basically, what I said in the video was... I didn't think all of these were worth £25. I didn't think they were worth kind of the, the price. I think what's the most interesting thing about the additions from the kind of category free area is the booklets. I think the booklet is actually worth a lot, way more than the actual editions. I think the, the amount of new material you get in these booklets are absolutely fantastic. And this was £10 in a sale during Christmas time. And it's the best of the three that I actually really liked. Um, so Story of Ricky is a lot of fun. It's completely over top. It's batshit crazy. You know, I didn't think he was the best film ever, but on a second viewing and watching on the brand new HD transfer with the brand new subtitles, subtitles are a lot stronger than the one that I watched on it. Um, I really enjoyed it. It's a lot of fun. And it's kind of got some, a lot of decent extras and the booklet is worth the price for sure. So yeah, a really nice edition from 88 Films. Uh, for £10, I'm really not going to complain for sure. Go and check out HMV. It might still be on sale there for sure. We also have his Armour of God, fantastic ATA editions, of course, again, Jackie Chan. Not my favourite Jackie Chan film ever. Some people think this is his best work. I disagree. I think Operation Condor 2 is far superior, but I do actually quite like this film. I think it's a lot of fun. I'm really looking forward to doing a review of this and Operation Condor 2. Uh, you know, maybe, maybe do a double bill or something kind of thing, or maybe a back-to-back -back kind of video. I'm uh, looking forward to watching this again on the brand new kind of transfer, 4K transfer, which I haven't gone to watching yet, and uh, checking out this amazing amazing booklet um this is again worth the price for mission just all that information is fantastic and you've got lots of brand new audio commentaries and insights kind of thing into the making of the film just a truly spectacular edition uh for a, a really funny kind of comedy jackie chan film more than a fighting one as much uh see i'm god great edition we're really happy to have that what else we have we have is malignant on the blu-ray edition is that the exclusive blu-ray Probably one of the most batshit crazy films I've seen of last year. Next to probably another film that I'm thinking of as well. Um, James Wan doesn't give a shit. I'm going to do whatever I want. Take my money from Warner Brothers and just made the most in crazy film ever. If you haven't seen the trailer first, if you haven't seen much material, you know what the film's about. Go in blind. Guarantee you're going to enjoy it, guys. If you like really kind of crazy out there kind of movies, this is definitely one to check out, guys. Really great edition as well. I really like this Steelbook edition. So, yeah. Just really cool. If you like your kind of throwback um, Italian kind of horrors, but like actually just a bit more tasteful, a bit more well done, a bit more kind of thing, you're going to like that for sure. Yeah. We have is It 1 and 2, Chapter 1 and 2, the 4K edition. This is a Christmas gift. Very happy to have this edition. I uh, really like the It films. I um, think they're really fun. Just kind of standard kind of 4Ks there. Guys. Yeah, uh, really good interpretation of the material. Uh, you know, I, I don't hold the book in any kind of high regard or anything and wasn't a big fan of the, the original It kind of TV movie. But these are four actually really well made, really fun and one of the better kind of Stephen King adaptations out there for sure. And, uh, you know, Pennywise is a great character to kind of explore. I really like part two. A lot of people had problems with part two. I think they did the best they could. But uh, people are the kind of the Stranger Things vibes from the first one. So, yeah, each to their own. We have this last broadcast. This is from 101 Films. I am planning to do a kind of a series of videos very, very soon. It's also in the works, kind of thing on top of everything else, of kind of, you know, 
indie kind of gem kind of classics kind of kind of movies i kind of figure out what, what kind of series i want to do what kind of title i want to say but this definitely fits under the kind of low-key low budget kind of horror movies that's recently been popping up more and more recently and especially on these brand new editions and i really want to explore them i really want to talk about them and give them a bit of insight into kind of why i really like them and i think people should go and check them out last broadcast it's a very specific taste it's not for everybody kind of thing you've got to be really in that kind of mindset and you're going to be in you know plugged into kind of what these films are offering but i think this is a very unique film i think it's very i think it holds up pretty well i really enjoy watching this on the brand new transfer and um Lots of talking about the extras, and you know, I, I found footage film that's pre you know, Blair Witch is always fascinating to me, and seeing how kind of analog and low tech and kind of on the you know boots on the ground kind of filmmaking, I, I really appreciate that type of stuff. So this is a great edition, and it has um, a great booklet to really go inside with it as well, with the, the making of and lots of brand new extras. Just a really smashing edition uh, for a film that is you know not really well known. So yeah, if you're curious about it. Go and check it out. Pick up this edition specifically because this is going to give you the uh, the, the best version of, of, of the film itself. So yeah, last broadcast. Never thought I would see this on Blu-ray. Very surprising. We have Gremlins on 4K Christmas gift. What can I say? Gremlins classic. Uh, we have this Halloween Kills, the second most batshit film I was seeing of last year. Um, probably between this and Malignant is you know about the same level. Uh, Halloween Kills, this is... The sequel to the other two movies, we got the original Halloween, 70s classic, amazing masterpiece. You've got the follow-up, reimagined kind of sequel from 2018, I believe, which is uh, in the same line as the first movie kind of thing, grounded, quite specific in its kind of direction. This is more of a, this is a sequel to that storyline, but goes the opposite way. Well, the first one, first remake, sequel, whatever you want to say it is, requel, you know, as you know, we watched Scream recently, uh, talks about um, that is more traditional kind of Halloween, but has a specific moments of violence this is just the full-on trashy 80s going ballistic go bro go home go big kind of thing on a movie it is a follow-up from those two films but just goes completely insane and it doesn't work for everybody i can understand that it is a little bit corny it's a little bit cheesy but god damn it's a lot of fun and michael Myers is just ripping through people and probably his highest body count that i've ever seen in a movie for halloween it's crazy. Um, so that's it has some scenes in this film which I'm never going to forget for sure. Yeah, great edition. Recently just come out in the UK. Uh, yeah, this is the um, Zavi Steelbook edition. So yeah, Halloween Kills. Just crazy. Brilliant. Brilliant film. Uh, we have anniversary gifts and a few other things. So last one of the just regular purchases, we have Disciples of Shaolin, which I'm going to be doing a review for this very very soon, guys. Really looking forward to watching this. Uh, I know uh, Johnny from Fanatical Dragon said this is a film that's really good and he really liked it, and a lot of people have said this is really good as well. So I'm going to be trusting him on another kind of Shaw Brothers classic, hopefully, and hopefully this is one to keep and one to add to the collection. And uh, it looks really fun. It, I haven't seen much from it. I've seen a couple of kind of the stills and maybe a couple of clips here and there, but uh, I know very little about the film. So I'm hoping this film delivers some really kick-ass kind of action and fight sequences and just hopefully has a really good story as well. If you, have, you can have a really good story, really good characters, I can forgive a lot of stuff for what happens in the film. So yeah, this will be reviewed very soon, guys. Keep an eye out for that. And this anniversary gifts we have is more DC. We have part one, part two of the Batman, the longest Halloween. This is based on a comic book of the same name and uh, it's very famous it's very well known i haven't read it but i heard it's very very good it's very kind of dark and creepy and has a lot of insight into some of the dc villains uh, i know very little about the animations apart from they're very very good so i'm very happy to pick these up and you know to actually have them to watch them soon and i really like my kind of dc animation on top of this cinematic live stuff and the tv stuff kind of thing as well so i'm really excited to check these ones out we have is shot caller great film um if you like your kind of dark kind of prison dramas that has escalation and really goes somewhere this is definitely one for you it's got the guy from game of thrones um this is quite interesting this has a lot to say about the american kind of justice system in terms of how things are prosecuted how someone's life can just can change completely overnight how you can be one person one day and then have to be someone completely opposite to survive in the world to be to, to live and to be able to do stuff it's it's crazy um it goes places for sure it's definitely a a very intense drama that has some really kind of memorable sequences and really kind of kicks up you know towards the second and third act for sure definitely recommend this one guys if you want a really stellar kind of drama kind of slick thriller um yeah shock all a great film really really, really good film 
we have Pig. I've mentioned this already on the on the channel. Did a review. Definitely Nicolas Cage's best work in a long time. Turns Oscar performance. Has some really memorable scenes. I've shown people loads of clips from this film just to kind of get people to actually watch it and to kind of give that appreciation. If you want the anti-John work, the anti-violent John work movie with Nicolas Cage, go and check it out. If you don't know what that means, if I'm making no sense, go and check it out. The director also recently is going to be doing the Quiet Place spin-off movie, which is perfect, going from an nice indie kind of drama to a kind of high-budget kind of, again, something that is low-key, something that is about very intense kind of character work with a kind of a monster situation. Perfect director to kind of jump on board that project. Pig, great film. Really going to check it out, guys. Definitely on my top 10 list for sure of, uh, you know, 2021. And lastly, we have is Isle of Dogs. Uh, just really fun, you know, stop, anima stop motion animation, if you like the kind of fantastic Mr. Fox, if you like that kind of stuff, uh, you like this. It's uh, It's got a really funny sense of humor. It's kind of, the, the opening has a, has a really funny joke straight away. It's definitely a really fun one. It's definitely good for kids as well. And lastly, guys, to end off the little collection update we have is the Shaw Brothers box set. Uh, but I think everyone has done an unboxing for this. For this. I think everyone showed this off in one way or the other. I think everyone has been talking about it for God knows how long now. And it's finally here. I'm finally happy to have it. Incredible edition. Just really nice and glossy. Just in impressive. Very, very impressive. I never would have thought since kind of like, you know, during lockdown of you know, two years ago now, this kind of thing would even exist. You know, Hong Kong movies like, like these weren't really around as much. And the fact we're getting volume one, 12 movies, we're getting volume two this year. I have some incredible films, brand new editions, brand new extras, you know, brand new 4K scans, just fantastic. I'm really, really excited to dive into this box set and to kind of really explore some classic Shaw Brothers films. Stay tuned, please comment down below, subscribe to the channel. This has been Alfred Reviews, signing out.